Okay, so without further ado, let's get started on this. Hi, my name is Joey. Welcome to this YouTube channel. This is my first video doing this. And what I want to show you today is how to make automatic emails, including attachments, using VBA in an Excel list. So what we have here is this file, which is a totally random file that I just generated using random generators in a website. Um, so the data here is fictional, but could be a, an office data normally. We have just a client ID, a first name, a last name, and an email. Again, it's all fake, all invented, none of this real. But it could represent some data you could pull up from a database. And let's say you have the task of sending emails to these people to inform them of something. Uh, let's say they need to fill up a form in order to register them in a system. So you have here about 100 emails and usually what people do is that they include the attachments manually and they send email by email and it takes forever and it's frustrating because it's a very repetitive task and there is no Excel functionality or Outlook functionality to do this automatically. However, if you know VBA, then you can program yourself um, a script that will include those attachments in the emails and will just make your life a lot easier. All right, so let's assume that you pull up the data from the database, could even be an access database. This is your result, and we're gonna tackle this. So the first thing they do is just I come here in table design and rename this to, let's call this table clients. So we can work with it a lot better. And then I need to know what are the file paths that I need to include in this email. And in this fictional scenario, I have right here a PDF form one, two, and three. They are absolutely garbage. They mean nothing. It's just for the purpose of um, making this video happen. So what I'm gonna do is shift right click and copy as path come back to my Excel and just paste it. And there you go, you got the files there. And I'm gonna rename this F2 to F4, range to attachments, so I can refer to it later. So again, the naming range helps a lot. Let's make it bold so we know um, that this refers to this. And also I need to print a message to them. So let's call this message, hello, please. Please find attached the forms to be filled in. It could be any message, right? You can write this as long as you want. You can make it a bit neater by um, merging this and wrapping text. So you can make multiple lines, whatever. And I'm gonna rename this range here, message. Okay, so I have three named range. I have a named table called table clients. I got the attachments named range and I got the message named range. This will help me working with VBA. Now to make this work, I'm just gonna come here in the developer tab. If you don't have it, just Google how to add this. It's pretty simple. Go to Visual Basic or Alt F11. I'm gonna create a new module. So insert module. And as you can see, it created the module one here. And I also have my cheat sheet in case I forget something. Here, I got the command ready, the script ready, but we're gonna start from zero on this one. So to start the script, I'm just gonna call a subroutine and I'll say, this is send message. It could be send emails, whatever. And I always like to, just before the script finishes, to include a message box saying done, uh, just so I know that everything is complete because there's no message once things are complete usually. And it could be anything, it could be, let's subscribe. There you go. Um, so to make this project work, we will need first of all to declare variables, of course. So I'll make comments, declare variables. And then I'll need to connect with Outlook, I'll need to create a new mail 
I'll need to read or loop through the table, right? So we can um, loop through the email list. Once I loop through the table, I'll have to loop through the attachments list. As you can see right here, it's uh, we have three files to include, so we need to loop through that. If it's just one, then it's just simple include attachment. And of course, I have to send the email, right? Uh, I'm not I'm not doing any conditions right here. I could make conditions to say, for example, only send emails to client IDs that start with number four. Whatever. Um, let's start tackling that. And I should actually just uh, indent these things to make it a bit more neat. So declare variables. Um, actually, before I start this, I need to make sure that this is able to connect with Outlook. To do that, I'll come here on Tools, References, and make sure that Microsoft Outlook 16 object library is included right here. If it's not, just scroll down until you find it, hit Include, and hit OK, and it will be able to connect. Otherwise, it just it won't connect. So I'll declare my connection with the Outlook. So I'll call this Outlook app as, um, I think it's Outlook.application. I need to make the, oh, sorry, Outlook is OL by convention. I need to um, set up the creating mail variable, which is the all outlook oops outlook dot create create mail mail item pretty sure it's mail item I'm gonna check my cheat sheet yes it's mail item and I also need to um, have an array to include the attachments list so I'm gonna call this uh, array files and I want this to be an array as variant and before this, I want to connect to the table, so I'll call this the table clients as list object. So list object in VBA means a table in Excel, okay? Now, all of this is declared. I'm going to connect with Outlook application. To do that, I'll set my Outlook application equals new, um, new Outlook, Outlook dot application. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Yep, that's it. Then this is set. Now I am connected with Outlook. To do that, I'll have to create a new mail. Now to create a new mail, that must be done inside the loop of the table because we're going to create a new mail every time you loop through, right? We're going to have about 100 emails. So this is going to be here. So maybe now I should just loop through the table. To do that, I need to connect my variable with the with the list object with the table in Excel. So I'll set table clients equals um, active active sheet dot list objects, and I named that table table clients, and this will set my variable to uh, get the value from the table client, which is all the data that I have here. And if you remember here on table design, that's the name I gave it. The name that I gave the table right here is the name I should be giving the table here. Right, now that I know this, I'll start my loop and I'll say for each client in table client, but because I only want their email right now, I'll call this um, list columns and this is column number four and I only want the data body range because I don't want the header to be included in the email list. Email is not an email. Next client. So this is how you enclose a loop in, in Excel VBA and this is going to end right here. So for each client in the table clients list list column four data body range. We're gonna do these things. So create new mail. That's simple. We're gonna set our Outlook mail 
Mm. I called it May for some reason. I want to call it Mail. Okay. So set Outlook Mail equal Outlook app dot create item, and I want to create a mail item. Right. Then once this is created, we are going to declare. Um, where these mails are going to, what do they include in the message, and so on and so. So to do that, I'm gonna just call with all mail and with that's a little loop, not not a loop, I would say a condition, so I don't need to repeat my all mail all the time. So dot two, so this is to whom this is mail is being sent. And this is to the client, because that's the email I'm gonna get in the loop. Oops. I want to declare a subject, and here I can just type whatever I want in the subject line. So I'll say a new application form 2021, right? And the message would be range message, right? So this will take this message, whatever you put here, it's going to be sending a message to the clients. And then I need to include attachments. So to include attachments, first of all, I need to set set the attachment list array. We call this array files. And all we need to do is equals this to the range attachments. So I'm calling that array files equals these attachments right here. So array files equals range attachments going to receive all the values there. And now I need to loop through it. And I'm going to loop through it inside this width. And I'm going to send inside this width as well. So to do this, I'm going to say for each file in array files, I don't need this next file. And all I need to do is dot attachments dot add file. What's happening right here is that this is going to loop through these three files. And for each file in this array or for each file path in this array, I'm going to be adding that file to the email that I'm sending. And I'll finish this with dot send. So I don't even need this comment, honestly. And I think this is more neat. So there you go. Um, it sends the email and goes to the next client. This is pretty it. We're gonna test this, of course. I'm just gonna make sure that I have everything set here. So I got my variables declared. The client is connecting with the Outlook. It's looping through the table. Um, to Actually, it's looping through the table right here. This is only setting the table. So I'm gonna change this comment here. This is connect with Excel table. That's what I'm gonna call it. And I like to be neat with my comments. So Outlook is capital, Excel is capital E, uh, set attachments, list array. So this is set. Now I'm looking through the table and I am on that list column four. It's creating the new mail for every client or for each client, and it's gonna end here. And once it's done, it's gonna pop up the message. Okay, uh, there is one constraint, which is the emails that are here, they are fake, right? They do not exist. So if I start, just um, if, I, if I make a break point, let's say, let's say right here, and I start this, let's see if it's gonna run through any problems. So in my Outlook, I can see here. Um, okay, so if I scroll, my, if I hover my mouse here, I'll see that the client is fbrier, fbrier at iCloud. Okay, so it's sending to this client. The subject is you new know, application form 2021. The body is hello, please find attached the forms to be filled in. 
And then here, if I just um, move one by one with F8, I just added this file as attachment to the email. I'm going to the next file, second file, third file, and then I'm going to send. Now, I'm not going to send this actually because that email does not, does not exist. However, I'll do the test with a fake email. I just want to make sure this is looping and it's going to reach the next email. So if I just continue, I see the next client is fmerges at me, which is this one. My next client is Clifford, DJ, and so on. So to make this actually work, I'm going to send these to a fake email that I created, which is Rob Johnson 9219 at gmail.com. And hopefully this will accept it. I don't know if it's going to classify as a spam because it's 100 emails. But I'll just let it, just let the, the macro do its things. I don't want this break anymore. And yeah, that's it. Let's see if it goes. And no, no, no. Yeah, I was thinking about doing something else. Just let it run. It's gonna take a little while, I think. It's a hundred emails. I hope that uh, Gmail does not understand that I'm a spammer right now and doesn't block my account because I'm actually using a personal account to do this exercise. Well, let's see. I'm curious. There you go. So it's done. It's asking me, please subscribe. We're gonna go in that um, Rob Johnson email. Rob Johnson, I need to 19 and enter my password. And look at that. There's a 14 emails from me and another five emails here. Hello, please find the tabs, the forms to be filled in. And here are the files. And I was looking just tri tripods. I'm such a noob. This is my first video. So um, sorry about that, guys. And this is it. This really is it. 100 emails sent in 17 minutes of video. About that. That beats the hell out of uh, sending individual files. If you like this video, please like. Consider subscribing. I'll probably post more things, I try. And if you have questions, I don't know, send them in the comments. I'll see if I can answer or not. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.